First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes manual, monitor, windshield mount, camera, sunshade, U-bracket, test wire, cigarette lighter adapter, power cord, antenna, 4IM bracket, 3M sticker, and other accessories. Pick up the windshield mount. Loosen the screw. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the monitor and slide it in. Tighten the screws. Now remove the windshield bracket. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. Pick up the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker and stick it on the bottom of the bracket. Tear off the other side of the 3M sticker. You can stick it on the dashboard. You can also use screws to fix the monitor to the dashboard. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the side of the monitor. Fix the monitor and bracket with screws. Tighten the screws. Install the sunshade on the monitor. Mount two of the antennas on the monitor. Pick up the camera. Tear off the protective film on the camera before use. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. Put the screws through the hole of the camera bracket. You can fix it in the proper position on the car. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Connect one end of the test wire with one connector to the cigarette lighter adapter. Connect one end of the two connectors of the test wire to the camera. Connect the other end of the test wire's two connectors to the monitor. Install the third antenna on the camera. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. When the infrared light of the camera is on, the picture becomes black and white. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Connect the power cord to the camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the reverse lights, running lights, tail lights. The black wire is connected to the negative of the ground, reverse lights, running lights, tail lights. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Touch the power key to turn off on the screen. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is used to pairing signal. If the product you received has an image, please do not go to pair. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the picture. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key to confirm. The icon turns red. Touch the right or left keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the contrast. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the right or left keys to adjust the contrast. 
Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the hue. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the right or left keys to adjust the hue. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the right or left keys to select the mode you need. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the mode. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you need. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can turn on, off the camera channel. Touch the OK key to confirm. The icon turns red. Touch the right or left keys to turn off, on the CAM1 channel. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the system. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key to confirm. The icon turns red. Touch the right or left keys to adjust system time. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key to switch to the next. You can adjust the year, month, day, hour, minute in turn. Touch the right or left keys to switch to the guideline. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the right or left keys to turn off on the guideline. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the right or left keys to switch to play. Touch the OK key to confirm. When you insert the SD card, you can view the saved video here. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the right or left keys to switch to record. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can turn on or off the rewrite function, and turn on formatting the SD card. When you insert a new SD card, please format the SD card first. Touches the second key to quit the menu mode. Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM3 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM4 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the quad mode. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM1 channel. When the guide line appear on the screen, long touch the OK key. The M appear on the screen. Touch the left key to move in the guide line left or right. Touch the right key. The W appear on the screen. Touch the left key to adjust the width of guide line. Touch the right key. The H appear on the screen. Touch the left key to adjust the height of guide line. Touch the menu key to save adjusted parameters. Touch the menu key again to quit the menu mode. Now it is Cam1 channel. Touch the CH key to switch to the Cam2 channel. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the OK key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly power on. An image appears on the screen indicating a successful pairing. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord.
plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom, 